So it's worth a look. Take a look at what's going on in our agricultural system with the Agricultural Progress Facebook page, the Hempy Vegan Twitter handle. This is where we got updates on the less killing days. What's the uh, the the benefit of less killing on uh, Factory Farm Free Friday, Meatless Monday? Well, slowing down the slaughter lines, uh, reducing the uh, pain and suffering that that we inflict on these thinking, feeling beings that are in our captivity, that are in captivity in trapped situations. What the fuck? Adapt. How um how about like acting on our values to to treat living beings better than this? Salty about CAFOs at Cargill. Cargill is one of the number one dischargers of water toxins into the U.S. Their factory farm supply chain model has been dependent on Roundup, GMO, soy. Cargill has shipped GMO soy out of the Brazilian rainforest before. They are complicit in the distribution and service of far so many animal dead animal bodies that has caused so much damage uh if you look into some of the um pathogens and dangerous um hazards to public health and the environment uh we know on the north coast we're salty about cafos because animal manure along with fertilizer runoff has contributed to the aquatic dead zones that has um sat um caused this nutrient imbalance in the soil. Roundup has caused a permanent change in soil microorganisms. These animals are enduring mutilation every day. Pigs are castrated. The pain is is so much to bear that we can't bear to look at these places, but these places are not lost on the whole picture. Like we know that these are this is what's going on. And we have to look at what's what practices we believe in and only support practices we can look at and tell our kids about. And if we don't want to have um, less killing in schools to conserve the resources that we have to even, you know, allocate with stewardship our resources, our water resources, at a time when we are fracking and burying frack waste in injection wells forever, we need to lessen the use uh, of water by the livestock industry so that this this can be there for use is more valuable to human society and you know what abuse isn't cool anymore so we have to work protectively overtly moving in a direction that is seeking to minimize mutilation pain stuff we don't want to subject any living beings to okay they're all like deserving of some consideration to say what can we do to help from where we're at today how can we help minimize this prolonged uh, abuse and suffering and rape and mutilation and and hazardous transport in all weathers the animals have been tormented and have lived these cruddy lives with their filthy feces and their maggots and it's caused this defiling of nature. It is, it is depleted the planet's resources. It is a main driver. Animal agriculture is a main driver of biodiversity loss and a contributor of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, particularly heat, heating gases, methane, and nitrous oxide. So yeah, Cargill needs to be a part of like not selling any of their CAFO garbage on uh, Fridays and and recommending Meatless Monday to kids and find out why it's why they're slowing down the slaughter lines volunteer to fucking slow down the slaughter lines so 800,000 birds aren't boiled alive because it doesn't fucking matter is that how important it is that like we have chicken sandwiches every single day when there's so many so much biodiversity of plants which is what was been lost under the factory farm model with all this monocrop GMO garbage. We've lost biodiversity. We've lost genetic diversity. We're threatening pollinators. And the whole system that Cargill's part of, um, we need to demonstrate a, a new direction today. Lots of love. Join. 
Um, the Organic Consumers Association, join your local Meatless Monday, uh, Sierra Club Coalition. Do what you can to introduce these subject matters. Find us online. Lots of love from Clevo.